What's up fam, my name is Tech, and welcome to my Mass Effect 3 multiplayer guide on the Human Vanguard. In this video, I intend to document my research on the class and hopefully spread awareness that people are still playing this game. If you have any advice for me or other new players, please drop a comment, and I'll be dropping links to useful information in the description. So, the Human Vanguard, it has standard movement being able to sprint, roll, and use cover to full effectiveness. They also have pretty standard durability stats as they have 500 health and barrier by default. For melee, it has a 3 hit light attack combo and a biotic punch for its heavy melee. And its two passive trees, alliance training and fitness, have the usual weapon and power bonuses as well as melee and durability boosts. The first and most iconic ability of all vanguards, one exception included, is biotic charge. This ability locks onto a target and charges directly at them. The force can knock down or stagger any infantry unshielded enemies and you can do heavy damage or spec for it. The charge will also immediately restore 50% of your barrier and it's the main way you'll keep yourself alive. The next ability is Shockwave. This ability shoots a wave of biotic explosions in a line away from you. This ability does not synergize well with this class, I wouldn't recommend it. Nova is your last ability, and since no other vanguard has it, oftentimes you'll be using this a lot. When you use it, it'll drain your barriers to empty while doing an area slam that deals damage and staggers enemies. It has no cooldown but requires you to have barriers available. The damage is proportional to the amount of barrier you expended, but the knockback is always the same. I feel there's only one way to build this class. It focuses on charge and nova to be in the enemy's face at all times dealing damage and crowd control. The only real choice here is whether you prefer to rely on charge or nova to do your damage. With this, and honestly all vanguards, you will want to max out your charge. Rank 4 is a choice between increased damage and force or radius. If you like your charge to be the bulk of your damage, then go force and damage. If you like stunning more enemies, go with radius. For rank 5, I tend to prefer power synergy as the damage, force, and duration increases are all higher for it. And with your cooldowns being so low, you'll always have it up. And for rank 6, it's a pretty obvious choice to go barrier. It makes it so your charge will refund your full barrier instead of 50% when you charge. You'll want to forgo any points in shockwave unless you've got some super secret sauce I don't know about. For Nova, you typically want to take Increased Damage at rank 4, and take Pierce for rank 6. Rank 5 is an interesting preference choice. Power Charge can be quite good as it allows you to charge more frequently and gives you more damage and more survivability. However, Half Blast is a better choice for higher difficulties as it allows you to not fully drain your barrier with each Nova, which will keep you from throwing your life away. And it will allow you to Nova multiple times per charge, giving you more invulnerability frames, crowd control, and damage. For your alliance training, you typically want all the power perks, and then for fitness, you want all the survivability. For your weapons, since you are very reliant on your charge, you want to have your cooldowns as low as possible. Close range weapons like shotguns and submachine guns are generally recommended. You can also choose to run an anti-shield weapon like the Acolyte or the Rieger, as vanguards don't have a lot of damage to shields inherently. Try to use your shotguns with low weight, either by having high levels or using ultra lightweight materials. The Katana or the Piranha can be good options. For your gear bonus, take one of the options that gives biotic damage, like the commando package. Your combat flow will typically be you charging into a group of enemies, followed by spamming Nova and charge on cooldown. If you're already close to an enemy, you can do Nova, charge, Nova. One thing to note about charge and Nova is that they both have iframes while active. Getting a good rhythm of weaving the two can make you very hard to kill. This class, along with many other biotic classes, can be dependent on latency, so your effectiveness can vary based on whether you're the host or not. Whenever possible, you should try to be host so you can avoid this. You tend to dominate against the smaller enemies with this class, and you might have trouble with larger ones, especially ones that have synth kills or instant kills. When fighting them, be sure to kite them after charging, and be careful of charging them when they're idle, as you can charge directly into an instant kill. If faced with larger foes, it can be a good strategy to target other enemies to allow your teammates with higher elite damage to focus them instead. Alternatively, you can use consumable heavy ammo to deal with them yourself. In my opinion, this class is best against the Geth. They're the only faction that doesn't have any synth kills, meaning you can charge into them with reckless abandon. The faction you want to avoid like the Rona is the Collectors. They have all the things you hate as a vanguard. They have units with synth kills, exploding infantry, and they even have your worst enemy, Seeker Swarms. The moment you get hit by one, you become useless until the effect wears off. This class pairs well with any class that can quickly prime multiple enemies, as you can easily detonate multiple enemies with Charger Nova. With that being said, check out my video on the Human Adept. If you like this video, please drop a like so the YouTube algorithm lets other people know this game is still being played. And if you want to continue learning this game with me, I'll be baking more of these guys in the future. Later fam.